But first this evening, a judge has ruled that prosecutors will not be allowed to use a lot of their evidence in their case against Fabian Gonzalez. Prosecutors want to prove that his dangerous lifestyle led to the murder of Victoria Martins. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is live at District Court downtown with how that could be a lot tougher now. Madeline? Now, well, Dean and Jessica, what you'd likely consider necessary evidence and background in this case, we now know will not be allowed in Judge Charles Brown's courtroom as he approved several motions by Gonzalez to exclude certain things at trial. We are now going to prepare for trial, um, not only against Fabian Gonzalez, but also, go, also against Jessica Kelly. It's been a tumultuous few months in the case of Victoria Martins' murder. From a plea by the 10-year-old's mother, Michelle, to some charges dropped against her boyfriend, Fabian Gonzalez. And as of yesterday, his cousin, Jessica Kelly's attempted plea rejected again. Without her cooperation, uh, we do not have her testimony available in the prosecution of Fabian Gonzalez. That dramatically impacts um, our ability to secure that conviction and present significant challenges to the presentation of evidence. Now we know what the trial against Gonzalez may look like as Judge Charles Brown has ruled on a handful of motions by the state and Gonzalez on what will be allowed. According to court documents, Judge Brown ruled that Gonzalez's criminal history and specifically drug history cannot be brought up. The same goes for Kelly. We also know that Albuquerque police lapel from the first officers on scene will be viewed in the courtroom. All this as the questions still linger, who is that fourth man accused of killing Victoria? And do Gonzalez and Kelly know his identity? More importantly, we will no longer have her cooperation in the identification and um, potential prosecution of the unknown individual in this case. With less than a month before trial, Gonzalez's attorney is still making requests. Today, filing a motion to exclude expert gang testimony by two people about Gonzalez's alleged ties to the quote Mexicano who reportedly walked into Victoria's apartment and strangled the girl to settle a feud with Gonzalez. Now, the DA's office believes that Gonzalez knew he had someone out to get him. And late this afternoon, we did learn that the DA has asked the Court of Appeals to overturn the judge's ruling on excluding all of this evidence. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Madeline. Fabian Gonzalez's trial begins Monday, October 15th. He's charged with child abuse resulting in death for putting Victoria in a dangerous situation and tampering with evidence for trying to dispose of the body.